Welcome to Get Ready to Profit, a show designed for entrepreneurs. Each episode is packed with ideas, tools, and inspiration to help you transition from dependence on a paycheck to financial freedom. Learn how simple it is to create a business of your own on either a part-time or full-time basis. Hear from special guests who share their wisdom, their ideas, and their stories of success with you. Your world is about to change for the better. Get Ready to Profit with Glenn Garns. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Get Ready to Profit with Glenn Garns. Interestingly enough, I am Glenn Garns. I am your host, and I am excited to share this particular episode because it represents the relaunch of my podcast, and I have some exciting things to tell you about where that ties in with some important things we're doing for small business owners and entrepreneurs. So let's jump right in. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time with pomp and circumstance. We're going to get into the nitty gritty here and share some information. I think that most of you as small business owners and as entrepreneurs will benefit from. So first of all, let me give you a little bit of quick history. We actually launched this podcast about two years ago now in an effort to help small businesses evolve and help people get into small business and then evolve those businesses. And at the time, the program was called Entrepreneur Mastermind. That was the that was the training program that we were offering. And the podcast was kind of to keep people connected in the community to information and ideas and resources that would allow them to start and grow their businesses. We actually stopped producing the show while we were doing some reorganization, if you will, of my vision for what I wanted this to be. And we have now completed the, re the renovation, I'll call it, or the metamorphosis of the organization. Now this organization is called Small Business CEO, where small business finds big ideas. And the radio show is now, the podcast, Get Ready to Profit, is now the voice of the Small Business CEO organization, which is actually an affinity group, a think tank, a fraternity, if you will, of small business owners. We've got room for people that are just getting started in business, or even if you're just thinking about getting started in business because of some of the resources that we have available to help you to get started. I'm going to quickly go over those, but then I want to talk with you a little bit about some questions that people have been asking about our organization. We started production of our TV show, Small Business CEO TV, where we interview our members to tell their stories, both personally and professionally. We help people to get to know you while they get to know your business. And the purpose of that TV show is to do just that, to make it simple and easy for people to get to know you as they're getting to know your business. And so with that, that seemed to be the thing that most people were most interested in initially was getting their businesses profile on Small Business CEO TV. We're going to come back to that in a minute when we talk about the organization and what we do. But the point is, this organization is really designed to be kind of, I don't want to call it a chamber of commerce for small business because it's really much more than that. It's a more of an eclectic mix of virtually every type of business organization you can think of, including online education, which you know kind of teaches you the things you would have learned in business school if you would A, go on to business school, and B, they taught it. <laughs> so the idea is we've combined a number of very important resources for small business owners into one complete, comprehensive setting. And we're emphasizing not just education, which you know kind of teaches you the things you would have learned in business school if you would A, go on to business school, and B, they taught it. <laughs> so the idea is we've combined a number of very important resources for small business owners into one complete, comprehensive setting. And we're emphasizing not just using the benefits. We're emphasizing being able to build relationships with other uh, members of the organization. So... Let me just quickly run down what we what we're offering in terms of uh, you know the, the 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 benefits by which we implement the philosophy of helping small business owners learn and grow and build nurtured quality connections within the organization and outside the organization for that matter because the things you're going to learn are going to teach you how to be more effective in every business environment whether you belong to another organization a chamber of commerce whether you go to networking events on a regular basis. Everything we do will enhance your ability to be successful in those environments as it relates to building relationships in your business. But let's just 
quickly do a review. And I will tell you at the same time that if you have uh, a desire to find out more detail than what I'm going to offer you here in this show, you can just go directly to the website at www.sbceo.com. That's www.sbceo.com. And on the top of the website, there's a video where I was interviewed by my dear friend Sylvia Henderson of Mind Team, um, Mind Team Solutions. And um, she talked with me for about 15 minutes about what my big picture vision was for small business CEO. And then just underneath that in the benefits section, there is there are six benefits. I'm going to quickly go through those, but there's there's videos that talk about each of those benefits that are going to go going to go into more detail than I'm going to cover here in the podcast. So the first thing that we do is we bring you into an environment where, or an ecosystem, if you will, a community of small business owners who are all here for the same purpose, to learn and grow together, to support each other's businesses, to share ideas and information that allow us to all be successful with our endeavors. And it's, it's the perfect mix of resources as I see it because for the most part, you'd have to go to like almost six different places to get the effect of what we've put together here. And I've, I've assembled these resources after years and years and years of looking around, participating in different types of business organizations, seeing what's out there and seeing what wasn't out there that was, um, you know, would make a, would be a deal uh, breaker or, you know, I mean, a game changer uh, in my business. And I decided to create that environment for your business, for our businesses because we're all members of the same organization. Now, it's not just a matter of being on a social network with a profile where everyone's got one, but they're not really connected. This is like a business fraternity. This is an organization. It's almost like belonging to a country club of small business owners where everyone is actually looking forward to, get to getting to know each other and looking to support each other's efforts in business and looking to have some place and someone to reach out to for help that's going to understand who you are, what your journey has been, and where you're looking to go. So that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's largely what the purpose of this organization is all about. So let me quickly go through the benefits. Number one, we start you with online education. You've got a learning center where you can take courses and everything from starting a business to marketing a business to managing a business to exit strategies where you're selling your business, etc. You also, number two, have mentorship. In our learning center, you can take online courses on demand anytime you want, and you can participate in discussion groups where you have the ability to ask questions from experts, people like me who have been in the practice of law and business law for over 35, for 35 years and, and being an entrepreneur for over 35 years and having other people who are part of that, uh, that, that team of, of experts answering your questions is powerful. Because I'll tell you right now, all you got to do is check on what it costs to, to have a business coach work with you one-to-one, -one, and you'll see how powerful it is that we include the ability to at least ask questions in a discussion group online at, you know, included in the membership. Number three, we do a small business CEO TV episode about your business where you get to tell your personal story so that you're humanizing yourself to, uh, to other business owners and to cu customers, and you're letting them get to know about your business too. And that saves you light years off of the time you would take to try to educate someone when you meet them for the first time about your business. People can watch your TV show episode. And then when they reach out to you, they know exactly why they want to get connected to you. You're not just kind of exploring with them what might where the opportunities might be. If they watch the TV show episode and you're watching the TV show episodes of the other members, you will know exactly why you're going to get connected to someone, which means you can be more purposeful about it and not just going through the motions. Number four, we give you a virtual business card where literally you can get a link that will allow you to share all of your contact data, your, your, um, your social media presence, and a, a one-click add to someone's cell phone right into their contacts without having to hand out a, a paper business card. Your, your, your card typically ends up in someone's desk because they've got to take the time to stop and manually enter the data into their, into their contact manager. When you send them the link to this business card, they'll be able to add you to their contacts immediately and won't be able to make excuses about having lost your contact information or your business card. The next benefit is a one-page website. Now, this is huge because one of the big challenges online is that many of us, we have multiple websites, we have multiple social networking profiles, and depending on 
how we're getting introduced to someone in the business world, there may be certain things we want them to see first before they see everything else. But if you just leave it up to them to go and find you on LinkedIn where your profile includes everything that there was you've ever done in your life, and same thing with, with Facebook, you might miss the opportunity to have them focus on what you want them to know now. So we developed this one-page website to specifically focus people on the most important data about you. The one website you want them to see first, the one social media profile you want them to see first, and then your email address, your telephone number, your virtual business card, and then three paragraphs, one that describes what you do, one that describes who your ideal client is, and one that describes who you're looking to connect with. That's rarely something included in anybody's social profiles. If you tell someone, I'm specifically looking to connect with a business att business attorneys and accountants and every, uh, et cetera, and you explain what the purpose is, they're much more likely to connect with you if they are one of those categories, or they're much more likely to refer you to someone that's in one of those categories because now they're crystal clear on who, how they can be of service to you by recommending you to certain people. So on your one-page website, there's also a place where they can view your TV show episode right from your one-page website. Now, this one-page website, by the way, is on our website in Small Business CEO, sbceo.com, and it's linked to our member map. The member map allows you to be organized categorically and by state on your industry and where you're located in the country. So we have members and the public can literally click the map, click the state that they want to investigate, find the category of person that they're looking for, and then look at your one-page website with all this contact data organized neatly and nicely for them to consume. The easier you make it for people to get connected to the information they need to know about you, the more likely it is that they will. They will. When you go to networking events and you share out your, pers your, your business card, uh, your virtual business card, and send people to your one-page website, you're going to be putting your foot forward in a very different way than someone that only had a paper business card. So this is this is all very purposeful. It's by design. It's been very well thought out. That's one of the reasons it took us a little while to get this all in place the, the way that we wanted to be able to offer it to you. So with that in mind, um, the next benefit is that we focus very heavily on helping you get connected to each of our other members and to other people who um, can help you in some way. So I, I, I used to teach a course called Referral University. It was three CDs and a workbook, which tells you how long ago that was. And while most of the principles taught in that book were all tried and true, ageless type relationship building principles, there have been some things that have evolved over the years, including the technologies that we now use to connect with each other that made it desirable to update that, that course. That course is now going to be, that course used to retail for $500 by itself. Three CDs and a PDF workbook that you printed out. Now we're including that in the Learning Center. I'm, all, I'm in the process of redoing it and converting it into a online course and updating it based on today's technologies like you know the, the online social networks and some of the communications platforms and things, ideas and strategies for building relationships with people that didn't even exist back when I first created the course. So you're going to get that included in the membership as well. Now I, I can tell you right now, as I said, you know, there's a lot to this program and there's a lot to this organization and there's a lot of opportunity for you to plug in and be leveraging this in your business. So I told you I wasn't going to go over in great detail all the benefits. Go to the website at www.sbceo.com and take your time and go through that stuff. You really need to be mindful and by mindful I mean take the time to deliberate and think through how this would benefit you and your business compared to what you currently do. And that's I'm going to leave it there because, like I said, the rest of the information that you need to know is on the website. And if you're interested in becoming a member, all the information about how to do that is on the Join the Network link at the top of the website. You can explore the membership options. The most powerful one at the time of this podcast is our Inner Circle Lifetime Membership, where you can get a lifetime membership to this organization for a one-time fee of just $497. 
That's that's more that's less than what most people pay to be a member of one business organization, whether it be a business referral group or a chamber of commerce or something else that they do. It's probably less than what most people pay to go to business networking events on a monthly basis or a bi-monthly basis, however frequently you might be going. My point in saying this is that we're making those lifetime inner circle members available only to the first 20 people in each state. So when the when those are spoken for, there will be a recurring uh, membership fee of forty seven dollars a month currently. But I'm telling you right now, if you if you act quickly, you should be able to grab one of those first twenty in your state because we're we're literally just releasing this organization to the uh, to the community as we speak. Now I think we're almost tapped out in Maryland because our Maryland I mean we're, we're based in Maryland we have a lot of contacts here in Maryland and so therefore Maryland is is pretty much spoken for you might squeeze in if you did something quickly in maryland but ultimately what i'm saying to you is there's a big opportunity here take the time to explore it even if you decide not to at least investigate it now i want to turn my attention to answering some questions that people have had about small business ceo and i are really thinking about this they're, they're not just uh oh, let me blow this off they're really thinking about where does this fit in for me what does it mean for me so let me address those questions the first question people have is, how is this different than communities like LinkedIn and Alignable and other um, other online business uh, social networks? And the short answer is that it's different in a number of ways. If you just compared the benefits apples to apples, um, you really can't compare it apples to apples because those online communities don't have half of what we just described. For example... LinkedIn is a great value, great resource, especially if you know how to use it. And if you don't know how to use it, you should take a course from one of my friends, Kelly Leonard and Michael Sheila, who are both experts in how to use LinkedIn for business. It can be a very powerful tool. But as a LinkedIn member, you do not get a TV show, a virtual business card. If you want their online courses through lynda.com, which they purchased uh, about a year and a half, maybe two years ago now, maybe longer than that, then you have to pay extra for that. The cheapest LinkedIn membership is $59 a month now, unless you were grandfathered in on a plan that uh, preexisted their current pricing structure. I was just looking at upgrading my LinkedIn uh, profile to a higher level. I have a different purpose for it. I, I know how to use it, and so I, I get value out of it. But I was, I was, I was um, warned that if I left the current plan I'm on, if I ever decided to downgrade, I can't get my old plan back because it doesn't exist anymore. So I'm on some some entry level plan that they had. It was a paid plan, uh, but they uh, they changed the benefits around, and now that's no longer available. But here's my point: even though I get value out of LinkedIn, there is no TV commercial. I mean, there is no TV show. There is no virtual business card. I have to pay extra for online education. There is no such thing as mentorship. And there's nobody really on LinkedIn that I feel actually feels like they belong to an organization where they can pick up the phone and talk to a fellow member, a fellow fraternity or sorority member, as opposed to, hey, it's just a public forum where you know people can get connected to people. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that we're creating a community here. And when people belong to a community, they feel strongly about supporting each other. And that's what that's the environment. That's the ecosystem we're creating here. And I think that that's missing from these other organizations. Now, I, I would tell you that's not that doesn't mean to leave LinkedIn. It doesn't mean to leave Alignable. It simply means to put those resources in perspective in terms of what you can expect to get out of them. And I think that the value that you get out of small business CEO will be much greater than LinkedIn or Alignable or some other you know social network devoted to uh, just business profiles and things. Now, the next question that people asked is, what about other business organizations? The specific question was, is this a replacement for a chamber of commerce? And someone else asked, you know, how does this how is this different than a business referral group? They specifically asked about B and I, so I'm gonna I'm gonna address that. Um, uh, it, it, and again, both chambers of commerce and B and I or business referral groups generally, all can provide a very high level of value in your business if A, you're in the right organization, and B, you know how to use the resources the way they're intended in that environment. So let me address that. Let's talk about business referral groups. Business referral groups are typically about business referrals. 
Okay, let's be clear about that. The format for most business referral groups does not lend itself to the exchange of mere idea of ideas, other resources. For example, if you're at a business referral group and you put if you're at a business referral group and you put a slip of paper in the box for someone who has a refer, who you have a referral for and it's just an idea, they're that that's not the way they work. They want you to give the name of someone who could become that person's customer. So right off the bat, you're not um you, you know, we're a little bit more broad in how people can interact with each other. Let me give you an example. We encourage people to spend time together brainstorming and masterminding over ideas and sharing ideas with each other in the Napoleon Hill mastermind tradition. And just to show you the power of a mastermind group and sharing that kind of information, which isn't conducive to accomplishment inside of business referral groups because it's just not the format. It's a completely different tool. The tool is fantastic for those for whom it works, but it but it, it's limited to that use. So we have a we have we have a, you know we're you know we're more of a tool kit that has multiple tools than a single tool. That's probably the best way for me to describe it. So the way it works, you know, Henry Ford, Harvey Firestone, Thomas Edison, and Edwin C. Barnes, who ran Thomas Edison's business, were all members of a mastermind group, a group of business professionals who got together on a regular basis to support each other's businesses, to hear and be kind of like a mini board of directors for each other, to share opportunities and resources and make referrals, all of that combined into one existence. And fortunately for them, they were smart enough to figure that out without having an organization like Small Business CEO. But the point is, we teach and educate you on how to create that environment. I mean, let's face it. Whose tires do you think were on Henry Ford's cars? Who do you think was providing electrical systems for the cars? You see, that's the power of pooling your resources and working with other complementary business owners and understanding how to work with each other. A lot of this is mindset, which is why we go back to the online education and the mentorship. Some people, they leave opportunity on the table because they don't really appreciate all the different ways that their contacts and connections in business can be valuable to them. They limit themselves to, did this person buy something from me or did they refer me a customer? And that is the wrong attitude, the wrong mindset to have about your business relationships. I could give you an idea that would save you thousands of dollars, and that's the, that's the equivalent of referring you a business who would buy from you. And you've got to see it that way. All right, I hope you get that. So at least as it relates to business referral groups, business referral groups are great, but the bottom line is that the focus is relatively limited in terms of what they do. They, they You're there to refer business, and that's great. You can do that within small business CEO. It's just not the only thing. Obviously, if you get to know somebody well, you're going to refer business back and forth to each other. That's part of the, what we teach in a referral university, the course that will help you to understand all the different ways to get the most out of your business relationships and bring the most to your business relationships, which is another mindset shift. A lot of people think that it's always about getting from the other person. A lot of times your most effective way to get is to be an effective giver. And we teach that mindset. We help to plug you into resources that help you to condition your attitude and help you to adjust your attitude so that you adjust the results that you get. So, uh, so business referral groups are great. In fact, if you are a member of a business referral group, being part of our organization basically adds more horsepower to your participation in that business referral group. It's kind of like having a Corvette, i.e. the business referral group, and we're kind of like the premium fuel that you put inside it to help you to get more out of what you've already invested in. Think about it that way. Chamber of Commerce, similar Chamber of Commerce, Similar concept to a business referral group in terms of the focus, but slightly different focus. Chambers of Commerce are about connecting you to other business owners in, in the community. Um, you, you get most out of Chambers of Commerce when you actively participate, which can be a little bit of a time commitment. Um, business referral groups are a time commitment as well. But, uh, but, business, but Chambers of Commerce, you may serve on committees where you get to get, get connected to high-level people. Um, chambers of commerce also tend to be a little bit more diverse in terms of the types of businesses, everything from small startups to enterprise level businesses to utility companies, anybody that's got a enterprise or business in a 
particular community can be a member of a chamber of commerce. So not all resources that they have are relevant to small business owners. We focus exclusively on the, the things that would be relevant to the small business owner. Um, now, think about this. Everyone said, well, what about when we grow and become bigger than, than that? Well, you know, we will adapt and evolve to meet the needs of our members. But what I'm saying is that we're not going to lobby leg local legislators uh, on, on making, you know, legislation in your local community. That's a Chamber of Commerce type thing. Um, when you go to Chamber of Commerce events, you obviously pay your fee to become a member of the chamber, typically between 200 to $500 a year, depending on the size of your business. And then you, in addition to that, pay for each event you go to. If you take a course or if they bring a, uh, an expert in to lecture on something, you pay extra for that. So while, while that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, we include all that in the membership. If you want to take a course with us, it's included. There's no, nothing extra to pay. Um, if you want to... Um, um, you know, get connected to other people through, you know, the virtual presence that we've created. You don't pay extra for that. You can access the member director anytime you want, reach out to whoever you want and get connected to them and know exactly what to do because we're teaching you how to do that. If you want to get questions answered about things that you should be doing or did and didn't work for you, that's where the mentorship comes in. And while you could get that in the Chamber of Commerce by hopefully getting connected to people who would be open to answering your questions, since it's not a formal part of the membership in the Chamber of Commerce, you can't be you can't depend on that happening. You know, if someone's available to answer your question, they may. If not, then you may be out of luck. So again, not a reason not to be a member of the chamber. It's a reason to be mindful of what the Chamber of Commerce can do for you and to see the value of having a small business CEO membership to fill the gaps that your other organizations may not be addressing. In fact, just like with a business referral group, if you're a member of a Chamber of Commerce, our membership will help to enhance what you're able to get out of your Chamber of Commerce. Think about this, when you go to Chamber Events, and you send someone your virtual business card, and they see your one-page website, they're going to take you a lot more seriously than other members that just passed out a paper business card. They're going to take you seriously because you're taking your business seriously, and that allows you to step up your game with respect to attracting higher quality people to become part of your inner circle, which is the whole purpose in business, is to have the right people around you for the right reasons so that you can make the right progress in your business. Now, Another question people have been asking, and I encourage you to keep asking these questions. You can submit them to me through Facebook or wherever you, I'll give you some contact information. In fact, you're, this is a radio podcast, but you're actually watching a uh, looping PowerPoint that gives you some contact information for how to reach out to us if you have other questions. As you can tell, I love answering the questions because it means people are starting to wake up to the opportunity that might exist for them in their businesses with small business CEO. So with that in mind, um, the next question that was asked was, do I have to come to Maryland for the interview? You don't have to. You're welcome to. We'd love to have you here in our real TV recording studio. I'm actually in the radio room right now. We actually have a TV, uh, TV studio and a radio studio. And so you're welcome to come here, but we have the ability to, re to interview you remotely just like any other TV station. We have the ability to bring you in through a virtual, uh, you know, through Skype or Zoom or something else like that, and to have split screen. And there's actually a video that I can steer you to where you can actually see exactly what it looks like. I, I circulated it on LinkedIn, and that's where some of these questions started coming from. We started circulating some of the videos, and people started asking, and that's what motivated me to do this show today. So to make a long story short, I know a lot of you think that it's already too late for that, <laughs> and I appreciate that. You got to remember, I'm an attorney. I talk a lot. That's just the way it is. Uh, feel free to uh, um, to let me know if I'm covering too much. But here's the point: you can do this remotely from anywhere in the country where you can get a, a an internet connection. You don't have to be physically here. Your story is your story, and it needs to be told. And whether it's told virtually or with you physically here with us, it doesn't matter. We're going to get you connected to the right people, share the right information about your business, and put you in a position to have a perpetual promoter of you and your business on the Internet at all times. So, no, you do not have to come to Maryland for the interview. You're welcome to if you like to. Otherwise, we can do it remotely. Um, somebody asked me, how does the mentoring work? All right, so we're not going to get on the phone with you one-to-one -one and answer your coaching questions. That's what a business coach is for. The mentoring is done in the context of a group, um, a group session, um, 
where it's uh, we have a group inside our learning center where just like on Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups, you can ask questions and get them answered by experts who have expertise with that subject matter. If, if a question is asked that one of our experts doesn't have the answer to, we'll research it and come back and answer it for you. And that's our commitment because we don't want there to be any question that you have of importance in your business that goes unanswered. There's no reason for that. There's so many different ways to get questions answered today. We will find a way to get your question answered. But it is done inside of a discussion group where both you and others can benefit from both the question being asked and the answer given. And that's another reason why we do this in a communal way so that everybody's the beneficiary. It becomes a think tank, a knowledge base so that everyone benefits from the information. <clears throat> Excuse me, I should have brought some water in here with me. I'm running a little dry. Um, uh, and then the last question, and I, I kind of addressed this at the beginning, which is, what if I don't have a business yet? We actually had a member that joined after I answered this question for him personally, which is why I decided to bring this up. If you don't have a business yet, that is the best time to join Small Business CEO because of mentorship and online education and getting your questions answered because you are the biggest beneficiary of shortening your learning curve when you're just getting started and you haven't gotten out here and started to make some of the mistakes that you make when you go out and try to do it all by yourself. So whether you're a startup, an early stage company, or a mature business, we have resources and, and people that you should be the beneficiary of connecting to. And that's why we created Small Business CEO. Now, that takes us to just about the 30-minute mark, and I'm going to keep it and cut it off there. If you have other questions, look on the screen, write down the uh, the telephone number, the email address. You, you, you can email me directly for, uh, for, for, for these questions, and you can do that at admin at sbceo.com, uh, uh, admin at sbceo.com. If you send that email, it comes directly to me. And my telephone number is extension 1. That's 800-306-6488, extension 1. I love getting the questions answered. If you email me your question, I'll probably answer it on another podcast or I'll email you back and then also address it on a podcast. I'm not going to make you wait to get your question answered. But the podcast will probably end up being produced weekly. Um, we're going to be announcing that uh, probably after this weekend. We'll know for sure what the schedule is going to be. And there will be a way for you to get on our mailing list so that even if you're not a member, you can stay plugged into the podcast and get you know interviews with experts and get tidbits of wisdom that way. But ultimately, your best bet is to get plugged into the organization, grab one of those lifetime inner circle memberships before they're gone, and benefit from everything we have to offer you. So that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. And uh, I really appreciate you joining us on Get Ready to Profit. I hope you will come back and join us again, and we will look forward to seeing you real soon. Take care now. Thank you for listening to Get Ready to Profit with Glenn Garns. Glenn invites you to join the Partners in Profit Club, the free entrepreneur's affinity group, which includes complimentary digital downloads, membership in Small Business CEO Lounge, and their 